morning, Joey. Hello, how are you, mate? I've got you now. I am very well indeed, Joey. Joey, you are an activist. I'll talk about your colourful past uh, very shortly. Uh, but tell me where you stand on this veganism issue. Okay, so veganism is a, a lifestyle which seeks to exclude any animal use. We believe that it's uh, unnecessary to use animals for their body, for their flesh, for their breast milk, for their eggs. Anything that comes from an animal these days is just unnecessary and we avoid it as far as practically possible. So if you had your way, there would be no cows, no chickens, no hens, no pigs, no sheep on the Irish, in the Irish countryside? Well, uh, inherently, well, well, Ireland is a nation of, Ireland and UK are a nation of animal lovers and we love and care for some, some animals, dogs and cats and dolphins, but we condemn others to a slaughterhouse for an unnecessary reason and there's no difference inherently in the way these animals want to live, in the way they feel pain, in the way they suffer, and we just think it's an injustice to these animals. You've made incredible progress on people who are into turning people vegan and turning your back on the farming industry have made progress. A lot of this down to social media. You're very active on the social media scene. You you f- film what's going on. You go to the slaughterhouses. You you follow the, the farmers to market. You uh, storm into the market. You, 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 you're pretty vocal in your protest. Yeah, well, the thing is, uh, we bring to the light what happens in the dark. And I think if the majority of the public just didn't see the green pastures with the animals grazing and all these high welfare animals. If they actually seen what happens in these slaughterhouses, then they would have a different view on eating the flesh of animals. I've been inside a slaughterhouse myself and it smells like fear, like feces and like blood in these places and it's a horrible place for animals. And why did you become so active in relation to this? Because your past is a checkered past. You've had your challenges in life. You've had, you've been involved as you've been involved in drugs. You've uh, been, you've had addictions. You've um, been, you know, pushing the boundaries of of the law. What, What was the the road to Damascus moment for you? Okay, so I had an epiphany and it happened when, while I was uh, had a period of sobriety and I seen my life with new eyes. And I'd spent a long period of time in my life uh, taking from people and hurting people around me and I decided that it was time that I gave back. And I, was, I, I always was interested in helping others, helping human beings, but then I realised that there was someone suffering more that didn't have a voice and they were the animals. And I, feel, I believe that the animals are the most vulnerable and the most innocent um, beings on earth and they don't have a voice so I decided to speak up for them and I'm going to speak to a farmer as well in a moment Joey because you know you're painting a picture of farmers in this part of the world farmers across the the UK as doing something that's very sinister and cruel yet and all we all know farmers we're related to farmers we live with farmers we we see the importance of farming and we also are very aware of the desire for all those dairy products and meat products yeah. it's 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 our lifestyle why yeah. why do you feel that you have the, the right to change that okay now for starters i want i want to emphasize this i don't hate farmers okay i understand that farmers are just supplying a demand for these products and they've been brought up in a violent society that that believes animals are here to use so i don't have a problem with farmers i have a problem with the practice of using animals for their bodies now now i believe uh, people think it's a, just a choice it's just an arbitrary choice but the animal has no choice in this dietary uh, lifestyle does it so the animal has no choice uh, the farmers are making money off the ba- the backs of animals and i want farmers i don't want farmers to be out of a job i want them to change the things they farm to the farm plant foods there's a big de- there's a big demand now for plant-based products and that does not involve a direct victim what do you say to the people who target the farmers on social media who literally use the word murderer about farmers? I do peaceful, non-violent advocacy and I actually train other uh, vegans on how to advocate and that is not part of the advocacy that I recommend. I, I recommend polite uh, dialogue, okay, respectful discussion. Now, we have to always have perspective in this situation. Farmers are literally force breeding animals. Uh, sexually violating them against their will, sending them on slaughterhouse trucks to be killed against their will. Now, would a, a bad, nasty name that a vegan called you, is that really worse than literally killing animals for a living? I don't know. But I still speak to farmers with respect because I don't hate farmers and I understand the conditioning. Can you really describe artificial insemination as sexual violation? 
Okay, so they, they touch the animal's private parts, their sexual, uh, uh, they stick their fist inside a cow's anus, hold the cervix, uh, they jack off a bull and use the semen and they inject it into the, the cow's vagina. Okay, now this is all done against the cow's will. They're held, held down on a rack, very uncomfortable. Um, if this isn't sexual violation, what is? I just don't understand why, why uh, people wouldn't think that that's sexually violating an animal. Um, yeah, so I'm not exaggerating. These are actual standard practices across the board for the dairy industry. Uh, all animals are sexually violated. They're all um, impregn impregnated forcibly against their will. And they're all slaughtered. Every single animal is slaughtered for their body, for their wool, uh, for their milk. At the end of the line, they're all killed. Hey, Joey, do stay with me because I want to find out where you're going to be speaking. You're going to be appearing here in, in Belfast. And I also want to speak to Sam Chesney. Uh, Sam is a beef farmer uh, who's going to have the platform to put the point on behalf of the farming community, the very strong farming community here in Northern Ireland, uh, just after this. Good morning to Sam Chesney, a beef farmer. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Joey. Uh, Hello. How are you, mate? Yeah, Joey's on the other line. Uh, Sam, um, you've taken a queer battering this morning, farmers in general, from Joey's analysis. Uh, what do you say? Well, you know, really, this is just another new wave cult religion that we're, we're seeing coming out of the woodwork. Uh, I take it Joey's from Australia, and he's not really familiar with the animal practices and welfare that we have here in the British Isles in Ireland. Um, you know, farmers in general in Northern Ireland, I, I can really talk about farmers here, we look after our stock second to none in the world. The practices we have are highly regulated by vets who you know, really at the top of the chain, the, vet, the veterinary profession is who we have to go by. Um, you talked about slaughterhouses. Um, all the animals going to a slaughterhouse are veterinary inspected on the way in during the process. And actually coming later on in the year, it'll all be videotaped for uh, any, any abuse or maltreatment of those animals. Now, we produce beef here, and if I thought that any of my animals on my farm were being maltreated or mistreated anywhere, I would be the first in the line. Joey wouldn't be in the first in the line. I would be, as many farmers in Northern Ireland would be. We yep. are very, very conscious of our, our, of our livestock, our animals, their welfare. We treat them with dignity. You know, okay. we are very, very much farmers and environmentalists as well. Yep. On this farm here, we have all sorts of wildlife, with foxes, with squirrels, with kites with buzzards okay. that just doesn't happen with maltreatment of animals now okay. Joey suggests no, we all should be eating vegetables so where do those vegetables and those other proteins come from soya bean comes from South America Brazilians are, Brazilians are cutting down the size of wheels every day of rainforest to grow soya and then it's put in a plane and flown across the world the carbon that is produced from those uh, flights across the world are destroying our atmosphere they're destroying our climate yeah. So 91% of Amazon deforestation is to grow soybeans to feed to livestock. Defence, Sam, in fairness, yep. of, the, of the farming industry. I'm okay. going to let jo Joey reply to that. Okay, so uh, I, don't, I don't deny the fact that you look after your cows. I would never, I would never suggest that. Um, the point is, is when you send them onto that truck, even in the most highest welfare conditions, they get a bolt gun in their head, they get hung up by their leg, and they get slashed across the throat and chopped up into a million pieces so people can eat their bodies. And that's where it ends. That's where the welfare ends, okay? Because that is not looking after an animal. That is using them for their body. And I have, 91%. I have seen this process. I have, this, I, have seen, I have witnessed this process in our okay. local, in our local um, abattoirs. And it's instantaneous. It is so quick. These animals do not know where they are. They Irrelevant. Are. Irrelevant. They don't want to die, my friend. You know that your cows do not want to die. What, what sort of animal do you farm? Cows? Sorry? Do you farm cows or sheep? We have cows and we have sheep. Okay, so do you, do you know your animals do not want to die? Our, our animals don't know. They don't they know. Don't they, have, they, die, have no, they have no recognition. of They have no impending impression of what's going to happen. That's what I say. This process is so smooth and slick. I, I understand okay. you come from Australia. I understand some of the practices that happens of livestock hauled to Indonesia on ships. I understand. No, I've seen UK slaughter, my friend. I've seen UK slaughter, and it's no better. Just, just, just on that, the, the, the point that Joey's making is even if the animal doesn't know when it leaves the farm, and even if it doesn't know when it's getting off the lorry at the mark, it will know when it goes through the door. It's, it's not yeah. stupid. 
Yeah, I mean, I just don't think this is a justification for it. Like, even if a human, if a human being didn't know they were about to be murdered, that would not change the fact that it's an injustice to take a human being's life. Now, if your dog, your pet dog, didn't know they were going to be murdered, it would still be an injustice for me to bolt gun them really smoothly, slice their throat, throat open really cleanly, and chop them up into pieces and eat them. They are no different in the way they want to live. Really, Joey, you're, you're trying to trying to change people into the way they eat and the way they think. You know, through evolution, we've all got sets of teeth. And uh, those teeth include k canine teeth eating meat. We were he hunters and gatherers. Yeah, just hold on, Joey. Let, let, let no, Sam finish. I have no problem with vegans. I have no problem. I, what I suggest is that everybody eats a healthy, varied diet. Vegetables yeah. are very important in your diet, as red meat, because it contains vitamin B12 and omega fatty acids from Northern Ireland. You can get that really easily in supplements. And yes, it's we can. very important that the health, like, you know, your, your health is your food, or your food is your health. It's what you eat in your younger years dictates how you grow through your adulthood and how, you're, how, how you will yeah. be able to take education okay. on. Now, Joey, that's a strong point because, you know, the, the, most medics will tell you a healthy, balanced diet includes okay. white meat or red meat or it includes eggs, it includes uh, uh, cheese. Okay, well, the science is on our side here because saturated fat and cholesterol. Cholesterol is only found in animal foods and it builds up in your arteries over time and it's 17 million people die a year of heart disease. Now... Part of a healthy diet does not include violence. It does not include the body of an animal who didn't want to die. We, animals get all of their nutrients from plants to begin with. We're filtering our nutrients through a dead animal's body that was killed in a slaughterhouse. Vegans are healthier. They have less deficiencies on average than non-vegans. And the peer-reviewed journal, the peer-reviewed studies done by scientists who aren't even vegan, support this as a fact. So it's unnecessary. We don't need to eat animals to survive. Um, we don't need it, need it for our health. We're killing them for an unjustifiable reason. Just stay with me, Joey, because I do want to. I do want to, as one final bit, uh, find out where you are. Because I think people are interested in, in listening to you, or maybe challenging you uh, when you speak when you speak in public. Uh, Sam, how concerned are farmers here? Because this is growing, if you excuse the term, growing legs in terms of social media. A lot of young people are rowing in behind what the like of Joey is saying, and some of them are losing the run of themselves as well. Joey's trying to rein them back in and has criticised them for uh, being, uh, shall we say, aggressive with their terminology and their language on, so, on social media. Well, but how concerned are you as a farmer that this may take off now at a global level and people will turn their backs on the dairy industry and the farming industry? I, I, we're not really that concerned. But what we must do as farmers is to ensure that what we do is open to critical inspection in which we are. We are very reliant on the veterinary profession and all that. And just to go back on the vegetables, you know, you do spray crops to kill bugs, you do spray crops, the worms are dead, so they're all living animals too. So, you know, the vegan isn't completely, um, as he says, murder-free. Um, no, we're not really that concerned. We're going to have a, a, dairy, a dairy February to put the dairy industry, a meaty May possibly, and a lamb September. And, you know, I have no problem with the vegan. If he wants to eat what he eats, that's fair. But don't just ram it down everybody's throat. Let people make a, a conscious decision. We don't tell people who to vote for. We don't tell people what sort of car to drive. It's a conscious decision. If they want to be a vegan, be a vegan, but that's fine. I have no problems. Okay, Sam, uh, thank you. So, so, Joey, people surely should have choice. Yeah, but th their choice involves a, a victim, which everyone seems to forget. The animal doesn't have a choice, okay? Now, vegans are reducing their harm as far as they can, okay? Animals, on average, to, to get one kilo of flesh, you need 16 kilos of plant matter. So animals are eating way more plants to get that one kilo of flesh than, than, than vegans are just eating directly those plants. So plant agriculture would be less, so there'd be less uh, crop deaths and all of that for, by going vegan. Now, in your choice, there's a direct victim involved, just like any other form of injustice. If it, it, was, if it was my choice to beat my wife, there's a victim involved in that choice. Just like in eating animal products, there's a victim involved, a direct victim that has no say in this. So the final question to you, because people either want to challenge you or support you, where are you speaking in Northern Ireland? Okay, now, I guess I will be speaking at the Holiday Inn Belfast Centre, and I guess that will be 
my main non-vegan speech for this tour. But the, the, the rest of this, uh, the events will be on how to advocate in a polite, respectful manner, uh, which is what I recommend. I don't recommend people call farmers names. I don't hate farmers, okay? I just hate the practice of exploiting and killing animals. Okay, okay. Uh, Joey, thank you. Uh, Sam, thank you uh, very much as well. It is some debate, isn't it? Especially when you look at it through the eyes of people living in this part of the world where there are farms all around and we have families where some members are vegan and some members are actually involved in the farming industry. How much of a dispute, debate, row is it going to become in the years ahead? Uh, We'll be no doubt uh, covering it in the future as well. Thanks to Sam and thanks to Joey.